In this video, we are going to define what is a logarithm and we are going to define common logarithm, natural logarithm and we are going to learn how to convert logarithmic form to exponential form. When we have an expression y equal to e to the power of x, this is known as exponential form. This exponential form can be converted to the logarithmic form. This is the logarithmic form of this expression here. So again, if we have y equal to a to the power of x, we can change this to a logarithmic form. The y position remain. We apply a log base a. The a come from here. And the x will take over the position of a. This is a logarithmic equivalent of this uh, exponential form. We know that the number 100 can be represented as 10 square. So if we want to convert to logarithmic form, what we can do is we apply a log to the 100 with the base of 10 and the power 2 will take over the position of 10. So we read this as log base 10 100 is equal to 2. Again, this is known as the base of the logarithm. In this example, we are given the logarithmic form. We are asked to write this expression in exponential form. So to write this in exponential form, what we can do is this number 216 will stay and the base here we are going to move to this position and the tree is going to move up at the same time. So uh, 6 will take over the position of 3 and the tree will move up become the power. So 216 is is equal to 6 to the power of 3 and we know this is correct. To convert this to exponential form, the 1 over 27 will stay. The base 3 is going to move to this side and the negative 3 is going to move up as well. So it will become 3 to the power of negative 3. The 3 move to this position and the 3 move up. And 3 power negative 3 we know is 1 over 27. Earlier on we have seen an example of log base 10 100 equal to 2. Now log base 10 is a commonly used log and there is a name given to it. Logarithm to base 10 are called common logarithms. When the base is 10, this number is generally omitted. That means it's so commonly used that log base 10 is so commonly used that sometimes we just omit the number 10 here. The equivalent of log base 10 100 will be log. If you don't write the base here, it's understood that it's understood that the base here is 10. Another commonly used log is log base e. E take the value of 2.718. It's a constant. It's just like pi is 3.142. And now we know that E is a symbol to represent the number 2.718. Okay. Log base E is another commonly used logarithm. And there is a name for any logarithm with base E. This is known as natural logarithms. It has a value of 2.718. If you cannot remember this number, what you can do is you can uh, press this. You can press your calculator e to the power of 1. It will give you this value. To simplify the writing for log base e, uh, what we do is we use the symbol ln to re represent log base e. So log base e20, the equivalent form will be ln20. This is pronounced as ln, ln20. Let's convert this uh, logarithmic form to exponential form. We know that ln is log base e okay. to convert this to exponential form the x here will stay 
the E will move to this position and the 5 will move up. So now this expression is in the exponential form. Now, um, when there is no base given, we know that the base here must be 10. So you must be able to tell this. That means to convert this to exponential form, we copy down the 100, we move the base to this position and 2 move up. The base here is 10, so it's 10 squared. Now we're going to solve equation involving logarithm. We are used to solve equation like this. We know that uh, x will take the value of 2. The unknown x will take the value of 2. If you substitute 2 into here, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is indeed 3. So now, our solving of equation involves logarithm. How are we going to solve it? To solve uh, this kind of expression, first you need to convert to exponential form first. Log base 2x is equal to 4. If we convert to exponential form, the x will be copied down. Then the 2 will move to this position form. Move up. So x will take the value of 16. Similarly, for this, we convert to exponential form. Ln x equal to 2. x will be equal to e to the power of 2. Again, ln means log base e. So the base here is e. We are moving the e over to convert to exponential form. So x will take the value of e square. Or is 2.718 square. Because e take the value of 2.718. This is a common logarithm. So the base here is 10. So if we convert to exponential form, x plus 2 is equal to 10 to the power 1. So x will be 10 minus 2 will give you a value of 8. For this case, it will be 2x minus 1 will be e to the power of 3. So 2x will be e to the power of 3 plus a 1. x will be e to the power of 3 plus a 1 divided by 2. That's the answer. You can punch this uh, using your calculator to get a decimal value or you can leave the answer in this form. Let's summarize what we have learned in these videos. Now we have learned that uh, expression in the exponential form can be expressed in logarithmic form. This can be read as log base a y. The a here is known as the base. To convert to exponential form, the y here will stay and the a is going to take over this position and the x is going to move up. And we have learned two commonly used base in logarithm. The first one is known as common logarithm with a base of 10 and the other one is log base e. Log base 10 can be rewritten as log without writing any base here. This will simplify our writing. Log base e can be rewritten as ln. Again, this will simplify our writing. It's easier to write ln than log base e. And lastly, we have learned how to solve equation involving logarithm. If we want to find the unknown, we just change the logarithmic form to exponential form. This will give us to the power of 3, which is 8.